Cadbury factory Kulak. Would you like to smell chocolate in the air on your way to school? If you live near Cadbury's factory, you will know what that's like. It's almost the same as living next to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. The Cadbury factory in Kulak is situated at the junction of Oscar Trainer Road and the old Malahide Road. It was built on the grounds of an old mansion called Moatfield House. Moatfield House had been built by an English architect named James Lever. It was later owned by Michael Staunton, who was Lord Mayor of Dublin, in 1847. At that time, one of the best-known visitors to the house was Daniel O'Connell, the famous politician. Moatfield House got its name from a small artificial hill called a mound or moat in the area. The house is not there anymore, but the mound still is. Experts think that the mound was used for burying the dead about 3,000 years ago during the Bronze Age, when people made tools and weapons from bronze. There was another mound near Kulos Tudulig, and when this was dug up, some skeletons were found underneath. When the Cadbury factory was being built, the builders had to be careful not to get too close to the mound in case they damaged it. The Fry Cadbury factory, as it was then, was opened on the 31st of May 1957 by Minister Sean Lamas, who later became Taoiseach. He was given a golden key and got a tour of the factory to see how the chocolate was made. Cadbury's also released a thousand balloons with a token on them, and anyone who caught one of the balloons got a free box of their new Irish Roses sweets. The factory cost about €2 million Euro in today's money to build. It was an unusual factory, as it had so much green space around it. Because of this, it was called a factory in a garden. Offices, a dining hall and a pitch and pot course were added between 1960 and 1967. Today, the factory still manufactures sweets.